Welcome back to another episode of the Michelle Matters Podcast. I'm Jocks Michelle. And I'm Jackie Michelle. Welcome back. Hey, guys. Uh, well, this week is another um, Pillow Talk episode. Yeah. Um, This time, definitely going to try not to sound as sleepy because I really feel like last time I was like really tired when we recorded that one. Yeah, me too. Um, so I feel like right now you're like super turned up. So I need to, yeah, like you're really Cause, loud. Oh, because I feel like last time I was like super, like, I don't remember what we talked about last episode. Mm-hmm. That's how tired I was. Um, uh, so yeah, I guess a lot, I feel like a lot has happened since we last, um, recorded or not. Uh, we, but the main thing was our Tallahassee trip. Mm-hmm. Um, Maybe we can go in depth in the next episode of like how the trip was. And okay, so on the next like episode, episode. What do you mean? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so no, yeah, not a for the feedback. Talk. So, um, have, well, based on our last episode, did you get any feedback from the last pillow talk? Um, I didn't check because I have. <laughs> Not really been on social media like that. Oh, yeah. I forgot you're doing your deep cleanse. Not really. I just don't care. Oh, okay. <laughs> Somebody did say they were um, excited to listen in, and I don't know. So, we'll see. Johnny said he felt gypped. <laughs> One of our friends felt like we robbed him of an episode with the pillow talk. I guess it was too short. Mm-hmm. But, um... I don't know, we just we'll probably do a couple more intermittently. Yeah. Um just, you know, depending on how things flowing. But it's just something, you know, a little less formal. Um and just a change of pace from the regular podcast for us. Um so yeah, so this uh pillow talk, um, me and Jack, we always have like this conversation. Um <laughs> not always, but not always, but you know what I mean, like where we'll be like, look, like we have our things in our relationship. Um, and it's, you know, God forbid if we ever like broke up or something happened. Um, we always have like, hey, look, if, if we're not together, you can't do this anymore. You can't go here because like that's my thing and I put you on kind of deal. Hmm. So, I think it's interesting, one, because I feel like we don't agree, and there are some things that, look, I understand you may have put me on, but it's mine now. Mm-hmm. So, um, what's, you, like, your number one thing you think, like, I, I just can't anymore? Hmm. I don't know. I feel like... Because you be claiming stuff. What do you mean? Like, like, is, okay, one, can I say the name of the restaurant? No. No? Okay. I know exactly what you're talking about. <laughs> is that mine or yours? Okay, so you're saying, like, if we were to break up. Yeah, like, you can't take, if you if you take another man there, I'll, I'll like, I'll, like, slash your tires or something. Uh, <laughs> yeah, no, that's mine. That's yours? I put you onto that for sure. So I feel like Jackie Jackie found this restaurant one time, right? I give her that. Mm -hmm. But like all the times we went back, I feel like it's because of me. Yeah, it doesn't make a difference. I found it. I'm going to keep it a buck with you. It's mine now. No, it's not. So anyway. So if we ever broke up, you can't go there no more. And we keep this low-key because this is, like, our low-key spot. Like, I don't feel like anybody goes there, so. Like, when we're there, it's, like, literally two other tables. Yeah, it's like a date date. Like, it's just. It's not even a date date because you don't have to be dressed. No, but I mean as far as, like, it's intimate. Like. Yeah. It's like you almost like you're having dinner at your house. Yeah. Like, that's how few people it is there. So I appreciate it, and y'all can't have it. So yeah, no, the hood can't never, find yeah, out yet. Oh, they're, <laughs> they're never gonna be like our small business spotlight or anything because it's not for y'all. So sorry. Um, 
but like a big chain restaurant, I'm sorry. And I'm you could call me basic, but Olive Garden, that's all me. Olive Garden, I put you onto that. Look, I don't care what you and say. And it's that's just fact. But the fact that I don't care about that place no more, you can have it. Like, like, I'm not even gonna fight you for it. Like, I'm sorry. I don't remember the first time I went to Olive Garden. But <laughs> it's probably in college and I took you. Don't I mean <laughs> we went together. Don't say you took me. Mm-hmm. We went together. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, that's all me. Like we had our did like I don't know. It's just one of those things that that's like our thing. You know, you I, first of all, I'm a cheap date. You take me to Olive Garden, you put me on the uh the or you give me the unlimited bread and salad. And I'm going to get home. I'm going to lay up. You can have me because I'm going to be full. I'm going to be good. Yeah. What are you talking about? Hmm? What? I'm just talking about being a cheap date for Olive Garden. Like, that's that's if you want to be in my good graces, just send me to Olive Garden. I got you. I but, got you. And yeah, no, you can have it. I don't, I don't care. But it's not even just that. Whenever you go on a date, you can't order calamari. As an appetizer. Fair? Mm, no. Yeah. I put you on. To calamari? Yes. As I put an you appetizer? On. Bro, we've tried, Are you cal- we've tried calamari at like every restaurant I feel like that we've been to. And it's because of me. Sir. Go ahead. Tell me otherwise. You know I had calamari before I met you, right? But I put you on though, like you just so did with you just dabble. put me on to like, the you, whole you probably, calamari. You probably had like frozen calamari. Like I, no. I put you on to like high cuisine calamari, bro. Mm-hmm. I can't. Like, I don't want. I'll be. I'll be darned if you go on a date and I you darned. Me, yeah, and you and another dude sharing uh the calamari with one fork or, or one plate two forks. <laughs> nah. Not after I put you on. No more calamari for you, B. Like, like I feel like that's just that's too sacred to my relationship. And mm-hmm. if that's you, what it is. Yeah. Like like that's our thing. And you can't share that with nobody else. But I can, so. Because I'll put you on. You did it. But okay. What you got? You put me on the cover line. Um, I'm trying to see. Okay. If we ever were to break up, right? Why are you looking like that? Well, first of all, how can you see me as dark as I can here? Because I know your face? You can't. <laughs> I can't lie. You like three feet away from me. I cannot see your face. This is definitely and not I'm three black, feet. And I'm black, black. And I'm black, black. This is like a ruler length. You're right, actually. You're closer than that. And I can't see your face, face. Mm. Like, I just see a shadow and I know it's you. Right. Unless you're trying to say because I'm so dark when I smile. You can see Oh, okay. So, if that were to happen, you can't listen to all of the R and B people that I put you on to. First of all, recently, what R and B people did you put me on to? A lot. Who name? Um, so you're not gonna be able to listen to uh, Ari Lennox. Whoa, I was LMA. Getting... No, first of all, you did not put me on to LMA. LMA put me on to LMA. Like, sir, you wasn't listening to LMA. Oh, who else? Bro. What? That's not fair. Ari <laughs> Lennox. You can't listen you to You didn't them. put me on Ari Lennox, first of all. You can't sit with the... Like, okay, if you said, like, Solange, fine. I was going to go to her, too. You can't listen to Solange. I can't lie. Before you, like, Solange or just Beyonce's sister. You can't listen to her. All right, you can't listen to Jay-Z, then. Okay. Note it. <laughs> <laughs> all right. It's gonna be hard when I listen to everything you love, but you, you know, can't. It is what it is. You can't. I can, cause no. it's also Beyonce. No so. Carter for you. 
Beyonce's in the song. So. But yeah, as far as music, oh, you can't listen to Chance. So that definitely put you on the Chance. Okay. Say I'm lying. No, you did. So, um, man. And he about to drop an album. We better hope we <laughs> stay together. Because you're not going to be able to listen to it. Mm-hmm. I'm deleting it out your iTunes library if I see hmm. you, if I see you download it. Um, but yeah, only because I just feel like, uh, I don't know this is bad, but like if we break up, I don't want you to do bad, but I don't want you to do that well either. And some of these things may contribute to your well-being, and I don't want that. Like, you're not going to have no fire dates after you leave me or if you're not with me. You know what I mean? So, and one of those fire, like, traveling, you can't, like, you can't go to the resort in Jamaica that we had. Like, if you go, you can only go by yourself. If you ever take another dude there, we're going to fight. <laughs> and that's on everything. Um, you can't go to my spot in Atlanta. What spot is that? Uh, or people are not supposed to know? Yeah, they, only, they can't know about that one either. That's my spot with the best uh, whole wheat pancake. Oh. Yep. Can't go back. Uh... And I know the name and everything. So I, I text it to you when we break up. Like, yo, when we break up? I mean, if... Come on, guys. <laughs> it's all if. Yeah, that's going to be a hard spot to give up. No. That's that's all me. I ain't going to lie to you. You know what I'm saying? That I, would be a hard spot. Because like, I found it. I had the best meal that You day. found it, but I told you what to order. 100%. Did you? 100%. I told you to order that. I don't know. I don't like it. Yeah, I did. But yeah. Like, that was a super dope restaurant. And that was an interesting day to go because there was, like, I don't know how to describe it, but there was, like, there was, like, a huge meeting gathering of people there that day. But it was still kind of, like, empty enough that we didn't have to wait in line or or anything. And the meal was, like, fire. Um, <laughs> Yeah, you can't go back, B. You could barely go to Atlanta. I'm going to not even let you back in Atlanta. Yeah, okay. Those are the two cities that I hold near and dear to my heart is Atlanta and D.C. Like, <laughs> I don't think you can go to those places without me. Um, I don't know. I I, I kind of feel like I have a 50-50. On what? On that place. On Atlanta? Mm-hmm. Or I mean, Atlanta as a whole, yes. But the restaurant? Like on that restaurant. But for what? I picked the restaurant. Yeah, and I picked the meal. Look, guys, don't give up. Like, the <laughs> whole claim to your restaurants. That is my restaurant. I'm not going to give that to you, bro. I found it and everything. And I'd be giving it to you. Loki, you be finding all the little fire restaurants. This one was all me. And I had, like, because me and Jackie always... Uh, compete, I guess, and who gets the better meal when we go somewhere. And I definitely won the meal that day. Right? Guys, this is a great look at my real life. What? Oh, I thought you fell asleep. No. Oh. Because that is a typical Jackie move. <laughs> like, I'm trying to think of what else you can't do. It's nothing. I come up with all the fire stuff. Well, that's not true. Bro, the the spot with the f- best calamari in South Florida, that's my spot. Yo, I already told you that was me. Mm-mm. So is The this, one that I found. You found it, but I said, let's get the calamari. Okay. But that's my spot. Okay, fine. I can go, but I just can't bring nobody. You can't go. No, no, no. I 1,000% no, go. you're banned. Okay. This is one that you're I will... You're literally not allowed. I will 100% agree. You haven't brought this up yet, but I'll say it for you. 
It's okay. No, no, it's a whole new spot. The, I, I'm one with the the place of the fire calamari, but there is, it's a Haitian bakery. It's owned by these white Haitians in North Miami. Mm-hmm. That That's makes me. Yeah, no, I just, I'm saying oh. I'm giving you props. Okay, they make the best pate in the South Florida area, and I put that on everything. <laughs> Don't don't I don't want to hear about no pate plus or your favorite local uh, bakeries. No, we don't want to put them down though. Who? Like those businesses. No, I'm not putting. They just don't hit. They just it don't hit the same. It yeah. don't hit the same. I wish I knew. Do you know the name of the place? What? I give them props. They it's, the it's literally called like bakery. Like <laughs> I don't know what it's called. It has to have a name. I think that's just what it says. The on name the on the on the thing. Says but it's on like bakery. West Dixie. And I don't know what street that is, but I just know it's owned by white Haitians and it is probably the best pate in the South Florida area. And I would definitely agree. You put me on, but I want you to understand I will never stop going. I don't get to have them often, but when I do, I'm like, like no, I can't give that up. Mm. But I give it to you. That's that's definitely your spot that you put me on to. Mm-hmm. That ain't ain't no turning back. Wow. Like I won't take another woman there, but that's that's definitely gonna be a spot that I go to. <laughs> wow, you heard it here first. Is there anything that I put you onto that you can't, you know, you can't deny? I gave it up for you, so mm. I don't know. I mean, I don't really put you on. Most probably like, oh, a, a movie or something. Yeah, like you can't watch The Office anymore. I already watched all of The Office. I know, no more reruns for you. That's fine. And, I already watched it. And you can't Netflix and chill with no dude watching The Office. I already watched The Office. Listen, all I'm saying is. <laughs> No more gym and what's it called jokes Pam. and and Jim and Dwight. Oh, okay. Don't don't disrespect Dwight. Okay. Dwight had some funnies. All right, all right. <clears throat> but yeah, you can't you can't do that. What else did I put you onto? I can't remember. I put you onto a lot of Netflix. Uh, what shows and like what? And movies. Cause you watch a lot of stuff, but you don't be putting me on. It probably well, be stuff I already want to see. It's like, oh yeah, that's reminding me. Like I, I wasn't reminding you, but shout out to you. Hmm. What? What? I was saying like I wasn't reminding you because uh. you were saying like, oh yeah, thanks for reminding me. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I like this is just stuff that like granted I never plan on not being with you but if we were to break up bro I'm on you I ain't gonna lie like I'm taking my stuff you take yours that includes restaurants TV shows Hmm. like it's mine B you can't have it You can't laugh at no Martin jokes, like all of that. Like, you just can't do it. Hmm. <clears throat> but yeah, I don't know. It's just an interesting conversation. Um, and I mean, you leave this relationship with what you brought, and you ain't bring Olive Garden into my life the way you think you did. Like, that's why. <laughs> You can't. What? <laughs> I don't know. You can't. Uh. Oh. You can't use essential oils. What? You can't use coconut oil. What? What? I can't use coconut oil. No. How am I supposed to moisturize in twenty twenty? You better find another oil. Nah, you tripping. Coconut oil is for the. It's for, that's culture. I don't care. That's culture. You I'm can't sorry. use coconut oil. You can't. Use your little lavender in your mm-hmm. car. <laughs> Why are you saying mm-hmm? no, B? Like, first of all, we talked no. about this yesterday. I'm not taking steps backwards in lifestyle, and having a 
humidifier in the car, Mm -hmm. first of all, is ingenious. And second, bro, I can't go back. Like, how am I supposed to go back? I don't know how, but you you know. I'll tell you how. There's a will, there's a way. You can't claim essential oil. That's like claiming air. Like, no. Like, if you'd have been like, oh, you can't, you know, use, like, uh, bamboo toothbrushes or something, like, I bet, whatever. But essential oils? Hmm. Well, literally, they are essential. Like, how can you claim them? And coconut oil. Like, yeah. Nah. You're done here. I don't like it, B. You can't have them. And, um, oh, there was another one. What? I don't know, but oh shucks, you forgot. I know. You can't use the same brand of toothpaste. Oh, trust me, I'll be fine. <laughs> I'll be fine. <laughs> Jackie be trying to maybe use this all natural toothpaste. Not trying, because apparently I use it. This is all she buys. This all natural toothpaste that after you brush your teeth, it smells like you smoked a pound. Like it's very earthy in odor and i think one as a black man i could use with i could go without smelling like uh, a a whole sack all day um but yeah you can have the toothpaste be crest to works just fine (laughs) i'll be fine you're sad You want to go to sleep? I am very tired. Yeah, doing this is always a struggle, but we didn't we didn't want to go without another week of content. Um, and yeah, it's just a it's just an interesting conversation, and literally this is something that we would talk about at night on our pillow, like just like this, um, probably with a little more enthusiasm. But we're definitely really tired. We just had people over and. Entertaining can be exhausting. Yeah. So, yeah. And I know my wife is tired. So, <laughs> I guess that'll be a wrap. Is there anything else you wanted to to throw out there before we, uh, before we get off? Uh, no. You mm. definitely can't do another podcast. No. No. No, you can't either. Oh, I definitely. I'm the, I'm, what? I'm the podcast guy. What do you mean? Like, no. You can't. Why not? I put you on the podcast. Okay, but you didn't put me on to this one. I mean, I put you on to podcast in general. Oh, man, you can't listen to podcast anymore? What? Nah, I won't, I won't do that to you. But, no. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm tired, and I feel like I'm talking crazy now. <laughs> and... Yeah, so hopefully next next episode will be a full fledged Michelle Matters podcast episode. Yeah, it um, will be. I hope you did enjoy this though, and if you have a significant other, start thinking about you know what you came into the relationship, what you bring to the relationship, uh, and uh, don't don't let nobody steal your shine or your spots, um, cause ain't nothing worse than going to your spot and you see somebody uh, that you used to be with enjoying it. Like, nah. Nah. You live your best life. And uh, they just gotta respect that. So, anyway. Alright. Well, hmm. that wraps up this second episode of Pillow Talk. You just said a mouthful there. I did, didn't I? Hmm. I did. Um. Anyway. <laughs> I need this rest. I got work in the morning. Yes. And all that. So, all right. Oh, another one in the books. Yep. All right, we're out. Bye. Peace. <laughs>